Your lucky number is tractor. It is also your pin number. What? What do you mean? That don't make no sense. King Wang. Oh. What's so? Oh, I didn't know I could question him. Okay. Well, cool. Who sold you that transceiver, and what do they want for it? Not saying. What kind of black market occult dealer would uh would it be if I read it on every person buying curses, voodoo dolls, or flying cauldrons? My business would crumble if people thought there was no confidentiality. Is it a guy dressed as a builder? What's a builder? Well, I need it. What's it worth? Nothing. I'm confiscating it. Police business. <laughs> you can't. Your division was closed down. You don't have the power to take things just because they look spooky anymore. I'll be sure to let you know if it goes above the speed limit, though. Yeah, where did you hear that? I move in certain circles, talk to certain people. I'm a connected man. Mr. McKing here. Uh, what do I need to do to get it, then? Hmm. Oh, I know. Sinister Cackle! Wait, why is he saying that out loud? Oh, I mean, Cackles. My business is suffering because of another cookie factory down the road. Put them out of business. And the thing is yours. Think of Dooley, Detective. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. So what are misfortune cookies, anyways? Milk cookies for a more pessimistic punter. Best eaten with a glass of milk that's half empty. Am I going to need to acquire that? Yeah, what happened to your shop? Uh, burned down mysteriously after your visit, but... Coincidentally, before the cops uh, you sent to search the place had arrived. The universe is pretty random, right? Bed riddance, more like. Alright. Alright, so... I have to shut down the cookie store. How does one do that? Also, where does one do that? I was going the wrong way. Aha! So he wanted something more challenging and <laughs> answers a Game Boy. Oh gosh, I'm mighty thankful, little fellow, but I'm not sure what fun there is to be had in a broken council. Oh no. I need it fixed then. Um I didn't mean to click on that. Well, maybe you can repair this mark. Can you fix this? Well, it looks like the discombobulator has been shaken loose. You just have to reattach it like this. Uh, here you go. Yeah, thanks. How much for the repair? Ah, uh, it's free to an old timer like you. I like to do charity work for the elderly, so you know, when it's my time to join the ranks, they vote me in. Uh, vote you in? Yep, you hit retirement age, and either they accept you or you're Logan's run. Oh God. Anyway, put in a good word for me, okay? Uh, I'm not that. You know what? Thanks. All right, I gotta fix Joy Child. So we take this back to our boy on cart. Here, take this. This should keep you entertained until something better comes along. Oh, this is a chipper wee fella. How can I repay you? Uh, you could help us move this bin. Uh, consider it done in about four seconds when it's actually done. Seriously, guy. Seriously. I should be able to wiggle through. I'll stay out here. Keep watch. Well, that's a better excuse than Dooley usually gives. That's not an excuse. I'm being helpful. Yeah, suspicious. What the hell's going on here? Oh my god. Why are those birds so loud? Uh, I'm no patissier, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. Patissier? Is that, is that a cookie maker? Oh my god. That is... Oh, hold on. That's actually hurting my ears. Let's go down a bit. Why is why are those sound effects so outrageously loud? Let's see. We fair maidens give ourselves to the ocean and the things that live there. We pledge that what is dark and deep and hidden guides us to rise the sea levels. So she, oh my god, those birds. So she who may never rise above the surface can reclaim the lands to sell cookies for good deeds. See, hags know that uh, morality is subjective. 
All in the name of the Deep Mother is good and right and also just. This cage just seem to be connected to that vat. Seems to be full of some liquid that's coming from the pipes above. It's bird poop. They're turning bird poop into cookies. Boxes of ingredients conveniently stacked up for an easy escape route. An oven conveyor belt. Low grade cookie dough goes in on one end and cooks, and then this liquid gets sprayed on. Uh, the cookies. She takes them back to the folks in the forensics lab. I say, knowing we have no forensics lab. Oh, well, I'll take those, I guess. Oh. Alright, so I gotta take those cookies somewhere, surely. Do I even want to go back to the shop? I don't think I do. Where do I take the cookies then? Maybe I give it to the guy with a hammer. Alright, I'm getting out of here. That's way too loud. Let's, let's try this. Are these what you're looking for? Oh, sweet divine. How did you get these and what do you want for them? Eh, I have to hang up some paintings. Could I uh, borrow your tiny hammer? Uh, I shouldn't give this out, but I have a powerful need for cookies. Sure thing. Just don't go pretending to be an auctioneer or something. You'll find yourself in over your head. No, no problem, buddy. No problem. Just a normal hammerless man now. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, auction house. Oi, auctioneers only back there. No hammer, no enter. Oh, I have to actually physically give it to him. Oh, what's this? Yeah, the auctioneer hammer. My auctioneer hammer. Yours? Mine. I have the coat, the hammer, the fast talking skills needed to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. Can't say I'm entirely convinced, but there are old things to sell and rich people to appease. If we don't help them get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people things like hunting the poor. Doing unwanted missionary work, or worse, become landlords. Oh my god. Doing God's work. What have we here? Somebody's trying to hawk this stuff online. Paper records from their sales. Nothing of use here. An installation manual for old Soviet tech. Says you only need two installation tools, a hammer and a sickle. Uh, I have to imagine that a screwdriver would be handy, too. I'll take that. Thank you. It's like a box of pants from a house. Um, a house move that somehow got mixed up with the rest of this stuff. Um, are the pants famous, at least? Did they straddle a well-known butt, maybe? Yeah, I, I don't believe so, no. Ah. She's got a kink. A loom! It has some beautiful notes carved into it. Uh, you should take it. What? <laughs> take it? When are we going to get into a place like this again? Don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights when you mend old socks? Hey. You can look at this and think, I've seen how the other half lives. That's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime, but something tells me that this will come in useful later. So you get your wish. Hey. At least until I find a use for it, then I'm sending it back here. Wait, you're not just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it? What? No, that's littering. I send it back to wherever it comes from. Yeah, that's as noble as it is lame. Uh, thanks. Alright, I got a loom. Never emptying jug. Wow, why is this in the back room and not on sale? By the smell of it, whatever it never empties of is both useless and disgusting. A representation of an angel creeping up behind a man. Is that a reference to Doctor Who? Or carrying his books for him. Read the Bible, Detective Angels were always sneaking up on people to give them books. Bust with eyes that follow you around the room. As if a bust with eyes wasn't weird enough. Yeah, true, true. Great have used the Merkins. Crate full of dog hair. Wow, it's also backstagey. This is what a rock concert's like. 
I can only presume so, yes. I was backstage at a Metallica concert. It looks nothing like this. So... Can't tell if this is an instruction manual or a communist manifesto. Same, same. Okay. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. We are off. Where do I need to go now? Wait, where do I need to go? Here. Hello. No, he doesn't want that. Wait, what did he want? I already forgot what he wants. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. He wants me to put the VHS on the TV, which I can't do yet because I can't get in the room. I don't know who would want the manual, though. These look like lovebirds, I think. They're screeching. Beautiful tunes at one another. I don't know about beautiful. Uh, I think they're draining the love emotions from the birds and baking it into the cookies. That would explain why everyone is so crazy for the cookies. Maybe if I can replace the birds with something that has a different emotional energy, people won't want to eat them anymore. That should close this place down. What on earth am I talking about? Well, let's try solvent. No, let's try Soviet manuals. No, how about melite? No, okay. Alright, so I need two things to replace the birds with, right? What would that be? Uh, nothing new here. Okay, yeah. How about these robotic birds? A pair of lovebirds, all the joy of seeing two birds. Yeah, we already know that. I could use these. And I could use a nice memory of home, but we don't all get what we want. Wait, aren't you selling them, though? Um, I need a robotic roomie, a mechanical mate, or a cybernetic cunning ground. I would like these birds. How do I get them? These are all things I've heard before. How do I get them? It's time to start dumping shit on these people, right? A loom? No. A Fabergé gig? No. Melite? Why, why would you offer this delicious looking honeystone to me? Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm googling something off camera. Hold on. What exactly is melite? Is it a real word? It is. The honeystone. That's right. I knew that, didn't I? And I should have known I was supposed to give it to the bear. Okay, okay. A normal person with no strong affinity towards honey. I want those birds. I mean, I guess I can take it as payment, but only because it's a nice looking stone. I, I can't eat a stone. Believe me, I've tried. Uh, sweets and soft golden honeystone. Bringing back entirely bear free memories of my youth. All right, well, that just happened. That just happened. We're moving along now, aren't we? I don't think these birds would pass for the real ones. I need to cover the, the metal with coating first. Otherwise, the hags will notice the swap before it takes effect. Oh my god, that's so loud. I don't understand why that guy by. All right, so I am going to paint the birds, I think, back at the TV station. Maybe. No! What do I do then? Makeup. A side of this, a dash of that, we'll have this bo uh, bots looking real in no time. Painted birds. Oh my god, what a beautiful job. All right. Oops, I didn't mean to go back in. That's awfully convincing. It'll work surely. Right. And then we're heading back to the pier. This is a lot of clicks. Okay, be free, you little lovebirds. In you go, robotic doubles. They look convincing. Well, the extracted chemicals certainly seem different. I, I don't want any more. How strange. Oh, something is certainly different. 
Okay, no, okay, yeah, wait, wait. Fantastic, okay. Now something has had to have happened, right? There we go. How are the cookies? Oh lord, it's it's like eating ambrosia. The nectar of the gods is in my mouth. I'm so happy. You're disgusting. I'd like to go in there. Oh, Miss Wampus. Yes, Malison? Something ain't right with the Dutch oven. All the cookies, they've they've gone green. Oh no. I mean, shouldn't she have already noticed that? Those cookies have freed up if you're still looking. Uh, hard pass. Oh, dread it all the heck. See ya, sucker. All right. So, Wing, I did what you needed me to do. You, I, I thought we'd ward... No, I did the thing, yeah. I can see everyone is so miserable. That's my target audience, though, so sales are through the roof. Oh, cheer up. Your frown is ruining. It, it, it's ruining? Yes, just ruining. A general ruiner. I hate it. Smile or TTFO. Go try frowning out otherwhere. Uh, for what it's worth, detective, what those kids were at is far worse than this. I guess. Anyway, deal's a deal. Here's your transceiver. Enjoy transceiving. Oh, yeah. Wait, what did I need this for again? Switchboard's transceiver needed to make the thing actually work. Do I take it to the switchboard or was it Mark that needed it? No, I have to take it to the switchboard. Uh, this place doesn't look like it's going to be standing... Wait, 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 wait. Where do I want to put it? Wait, 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 what? There's a transceiver. I don't know what that does. Science? Pseudoscience? One of those. This doesn't work without it, though. Oh, yeah. Uh. What do you mean? How goes the search? This is the dice, but they seem to have torn it apart. Where is her going? They're, they're needed to make the connection between this world and that. It should be a dark side phone book, so we know who to call. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. Um, uh, we've gone through this. Ha or have we? Ah, uh, look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go, uh, do some detectiving, yeah? No? Alright, let's go check up here. Uh, noise in area. Yeah, we've already done all this. I don't think my answer is up here. Maybe if I just give it to the receptionist? Can you give this into Mar for me to get it on air? Oh my god. Was it as simple as that? Sure thing, I'm just going to put it in this inbox basket. Excuse me? Did you just drop my tape in the bin? No, that's my filing system. If you look closely, you'll see I filed my broken heart in there, too, after those kids chased the delivery woman away. Wait a minute, can I not grab it? Wait a minute. This, oops, I didn't mean to click it. Wait, what? Did we just assault a squirrel on my, oh. Wait a minute, so what do I do now? I literally can't grab it. What do I do now? Oh my god, it triggers a cutscene. Of course it does. Uh, hello? That man, he will not pass on your videotape. But, uh, uh, they'll help you. Where's your, uh, handler gone? She was not my handler, she was my date! But now I have deposed of her. I sent her home with the cab fare. I am the gentle squirrel, no? Why are you still here? Why do you want to help me? They humiliate me. They make me count like the performing monkey. I will steal back your video and make you uh, meet you in the control room. We will have resistance. Did that just happen? That just happened. So wait, is he in the control room now? The light is off. Come in. Hello, Marv. Oh my god. Nice acorn. Ooh. Acorn collection. Oh, thanks. I've been gathering them for a while now. They're my pride and joy. 
I keep them locked away in this very secure display case that I never open, save to add new acorns. Oh, what's all this? Uh, I've been trying to write a TV script about a cop who solves spooky crimes, but the main character is just so boring. He's offended. Oh, press his speakers. I, I guess you need them to edit all this footage? Oh, uh, they're actually just fancy yogurt cartons with some string. Sounds pretty good, though. One more frame for that perfect edit. Ugh, I cut too soon! Programming database. I just need to get the ad on there. So, uh, how are things, Marv? Well, things are adequate. Thanks for asking. Uh, you have, uh, time to talk? Oh, no, I gotta edit down this morning's show. Station manager wants more fun squirrel and less sad policeman. Sorry. He's got the tape. He's pointing at Marv. I guess we just need to distract him. I know how. So what do you think of this acorn? Uh, how many skills are painted on it? Uh, 14. Not interested. So, real fabric ac acorns only have 13. Think so. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna remove the extra skills, Pichu, on this. Did that really just happen? Did that really just happen? Okay. Huh. 11, 12, 13. This is perfect. Where did you find it? Uh, I found it in an attic on a case. You want it? Uh, sure. I'll just unlock my cabinet to put it in right now. Aha! Now is my time. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, what the? Oh no, Marv, that scroll he, he robbed you, your acorn collection. I had no idea. Relax, detective, I recognize him the moment he turned up for filming today. What? You don't collect Fabergé acorns and not know who Merle the Squirrel is? He's a master squirrel burglar. Uh-oh. Oh crap, I, I misclicked that. Oh man, sorry, you can pause it and read it. His kid came over with some friends, and while they caused the scene, I slipped her the acorn to get it off the site. Damn it, Emily! Met up once she was safely away from here. Her dad made the acorn look fake and tried to sell it to the auction house, which I happen to know Merle was casing. So you know there was a fake on the scene. Precisely. So when you showed up, he took all the fake locked away acorns and ignored the real one that I had. Bingo. By the time he realizes what happened, it'd be too late. I'd have gotten this thing away to safety. Um. After all that, he didn't even put the ad on the air. Eh, I could just put that up. All we had to do is ask. Uh, you do that for me? We went to school together. Of course I would. Ah, oh, thanks. Also, it's public access. We kind of have to show any crap given to us. Well, that was easy. Sorry again about that, Marv. It's okay. Things we do for friendship, eh? I once power morphed into a giant robot to get a mate out of a jam. Wait, what? Anyway, that ad will be on air for you soon. Was that a reference that I didn't I didn't get? All right. Thank you, Merv. Marv. That must be how we got into the room. Yep, probably... Alright, I have a feeling we're we're close. Let's head back to the pier. Uh, hi Mark. Oh, there I am on TV! Quickly, take this so I can watch myself. Uh, how does this work? What even is it? Where can I find the instructions? No idea. It's old tech, almost old enough to be in a museum or the likes. Now hush him on TV! I, that, that was a little awkward. That I was asking for, like, a manual when I've already got the manual. All right. So now we take this to the junkyard. Do I just give it to the person, then? I have something for you. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Come up to the door and show me. I have the stuff you want. New technology instructions on how to install it. Okay, okay. And you come. Here you go. Super! Here are your wires, comrade. Uh, what'd you call me? Uh, constable? Tangled wires. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 
Hands off! Certified breakers only. I own as far as I can see through this window. Sadly, my cataracts me and I can't see very far. Now, these have similar markings to the pages I need to replace. Mind if I take them? Eh, why not? Oh, piles of that stuff. All right, well, that just happened. Gremlin art. <laughs> what? I fished that out of a whale's belly. How it got in there, I don't know. How I got in there is also a mystery to me. Find anything you need out there in the trashy wastelands. Just gotta be willing to get your hands dirty and your blood infected. <laughs> uh, I built those out of discarded beds uh, once I adopted the boys. This fridge I got off the back of a fridge truck, which was on the back of a freighter, which had sunk just off the west coast. Oh, I'm excited to get tinkering with this new gear. Sorry for holding your wires. I'm just fed up with those little guys breaking my gear. Yeah, how'd they end up living with you? Well, I was crushing some stuff, as uh, as is my want. Uh, when I cracked open a clay urn, everything stopped and out they climbed. They're harmless, for the most part. Useful to have in a junkyard. Good for breaking stuff down, so I keep them around. All hunky-dorky as, as long as I keep them from uh, the machinery. Well, no more! Now they can wander freely, breaking whatever their little hearts desire. Wait a minute, do I straighten the wires out in the loom? <laughs> I think I might be able to use this loom to unravel these wires! Worst case, we can play a fancy tune! Looms are a weaving tool, not an instrument! I had to bob and threadbare. That is a loom reference. The game loom, the LucasArts game from a long, long time ago. Which itself is a Monkey Island reference. We just gotta move the wires between the three nodes to entangle them so they're usable. Some parts of this ad uh, adventure are less thrilling than others. Um, okay, so... Oh, it's one of those. Oh god. Nope, that doesn't work. Alright, hold on. I need to think for a moment. Yellow's gotta come way up here and so does yellow. Spock by the wire on top, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait a minute, is it because of this? Wait, what? Okay, I now I need the purple one down here. That's them unraveled! Now I know what to do, do next time uh, my headphone wires get wrapped. Okay. Untangled wires. Fancy. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to go to two places. I suspect we should go to the auction house first. These look passable, but they're too clean and new. I need to age them up somehow. All right, well, never mind then. Let's go to the switchboard. Where do these go? Oh, stick them anywhere. You can move them in the mini game. I mean, later. This is the device, but they seem to have torn it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go uh, do some deactivating, yeah? Wait, what? Should be a dark side phone book. Okay, yeah, we need the phone book. So I need to dirty up the gremlin art. How do I do that? How do I do that? We dunk this in here. That should brown and curl the pages so they look nice and old. I don't know why that didn't come to me immediately, because that is literally the effect I use in my channel trailer, is using um, tea or coffee stains on paper. Okay. That's too funny. What a coincidence! All right, where am I taking this now? No, not the switchboard. I was already at the switchboard. I'm taking this to the auction house. A perfect match. Now make the switch! 
It seems like the only time the book will be out of, of its case is when it's being auctioned. Now that I've shown them the gavel, they think I'm an auctioneer. I guess I could run the damn thing and, uh, and do a switcheroo then? Yeah, I mean, sure. How do I start the auction then? Also, he confiscated my gavel. Wait, what? That's probably the only place I can get my actual hands on pages from the book. All right, let's kick off this sloppy robbery. What? Uh, nothing. Auction time. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Welcome in, and outies. Wait a minute, what? Today we have this fine antique occult book of sigils or whatever you all think it is. Can I get an opening bid? What's a good opening bid? Five? Can I get a five? Rex, swap the pages while I carry this on. Is this not going to be obvious? It's like right there. On it. Yes, five? Five hundred? Five hundred? Five? Five? Six. You can't go backwards. It's a rule, right? No, six hundred. Christ. Okay, okay. Pull it together, me. Right, I, I have 600. I want 700. Can I get 700? Any bids on 700? Hi. Hi. Or eight? Hi. I'm done, detective. Sold to the woman with the expressionless face for I. What? That's nonsense. That's not how this works. I'm not even sure how much I owe. You lot getting rowdy? Do I need to use my gun? Wow. Annoyed noises, grumble, grumble. I still don't know what I owe. Hell yeah. It worked. Good job. Let's get out of here. What about all that uh, other auctions you have to do today? <laughs> oh, I uh, quit. Bye. See a sucker. Hello. Nothing? You're just going to keep on talking there? Okay. It would be nice for her to say something new after something like that happens. Okay. What is, what is on this phone book now? I got these. Super, these symbols are like phone numbers. We'll have to work through them until we get through to your friend. That's everything. Time to try calling Dooley. What, what is this? Wait, what? Now what do I do? See those shapes? They're numbers. Like phone numbers. So start dialing. What? What? That's it? What if he's not at one of the numbers I have? Uh, you're thinking to normal? He'll be at one of them. How can you be so sure? I peeked at the design document for this case, so trust me. All right, here it goes. Wait, what What number? Wait, what? It's one of these? All right. This is weird. So let's go like this. Does color even matter? Oh, that can't go any... F okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, darling? Excuse me? Is there a man in a police uniform there? Uh, yeah, of course. And an army man, a biker, a construction worker, a cowboy, and a Native American man. Wait, who am I calling then? I don't think this is the right number. This is always the right number, darling. The village people. Okay. Alright, this isn't so difficult. Chief Ghoulie. <laughs> What's all this then? Chief Gooly? The Queen? What is it that you're always calling me out of ours then? I think you have a lead on Dooley. A way to bring it back through. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever you're up to, if it's not through legitimate channels, then you'd best not get me involved. He was from the first game, if you remember. Right. Well, I guess I'll let you know how it goes. Best of luck, best of luck then. Off you, off you up? What? Alright. Uh, da, 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 da.
Jellator? Who is this? Don't you know how hard it is for me to answer your phone? Uh, I might have the wrong number. Wrong number? That has me quivering with anger. Whatever you say, buddy boy. That one was easy. Hello? Uh, hi. Um, wondering if you could tell me what the correct glyph to solve this puzzle is? No, I didn't spend minutes designing this puzzle just so you could nag the solution out of me. Now, this is go This game is launched, so leave me alone. Wow. Um... Don't call that sigil. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello, who's there? Hang up, detective? Uh, wrong number, sorry. All right, um, bye? How'd you know she did? Let's try the next sigils, shall we? What the hell just happened? We found a dead version of her? All right, wait, what's going on here? The detective, is that you? Yes, Dilly, it's me. Where are you? I, I hear music? I'm not sure. Everything's different around here. It's so cold. Oh, Dilly. Uh, it's my own fault. I should have worn a jacket. <clears throat> Tell me what you see, Dilly, and we'll get you home. Well, uh, can't see the lakes from here, so I guess I'm inland a little? Sorry, detective. Geography here is a little messed up. Dilly? I can see a, and there's a, me. Julie, you're breaking up. How, how do I comment to that? Shh, shh. And here, stream for me soon. Shh, shh, shh. That, that was a beautiful rendition of a, of breaking up. Dooley, Dooley. He's gone, detective. Ah, uh, I took down everything he said. Maybe we can use that to find him. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I have a map of the city in my apartment that we can use. Let's go! I'm coming with. Wait, well, who invited her? Not exactly. Now you want to come with? Well, yes, now it's getting interesting. Dooley's clues. Okay. Notes from the call with Dooley. Let's take them to my apartment. Uh, where's my apartment then? Oh. Well, this is it. This is the phone booth Dooley would call from outside looking for a lift. My local laundrette. They take pride in poor servers, which people seem to like, ironically. Well, that's the top there. Gave them five stars. Excellent bad service. Affordable towers. Hey, I warned you the occult doesn't pay well. It's where the superintendent watches from uh, to make sure you don't have any guests over. Expect this uh, entourage will bite me in the ass. At least review time, but if it saves Dooley, it's worth it. I got a good feeling about this, detective. I'm feeling a strong energy from this place. It has special meaning for you. It's it's where I live. I feel as if you've been here before. Yes, because I live here. Perhaps in a past life? Goddamn psychics. My building came with a fire escape. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get to work. Wait, do I put this in this episode or next episode? I have no idea what to do here. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, I found a ritual that can get him back if I know where he is. We have the clues. We have, just have to figure it out and gather the ritual components. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Bag of Dooley's old clothes that I grabbed from his gym locker. Gonna need those. Meow. His name is PD. Hey there, PD. It's not feeding time yet. PD? Like a police department? That's the one. Since you're lying, PD stands for placeholder Dooley. Did he get a cat to replace Dooley? 
told you I was psychic. <laughs> Ow. I have a uh, chalk in my pocket for the ritual. You're out there somewhere, buddy, and we're gonna find you. I'm gonna need these for the ritual. Ignore that, it's all rubbish notes from failed attempts to find Dooley. And what looks like a drawing of the two of you? Wait, I'm a doodler. Various things I managed to take from the Dark Side Division before Chief Scully had it all sealed up. Is that a copy of Ripley's Casted or not? It is! It's where I found the ritual that will bring Dooley back. How does it work? Well, Dark Side portals are usually anchored. Uh, a portal from here will always go to the same place in the Dark Side. Usually, but not always. Uh, the here locations mirror there. For this ritual, it opens more of a vacuum than a portal. You point it to a place, give it a signature to lock onto, and it sucks them back. Oh, great, fine. Let's figure out where he is uh, and cast it. Yeah. It's going to work, Detective. Thanks. Map of clues from across the city. Oh, I've never seen a real life crazy person board before. Uh, what's that? My computer. Why did I know you can get them so big? It, it must be so fast. Uh. How'd you manage to kill a fake plant? <laughs> There's a sad energy to this place. All right, detective, I'm ready to go. Let's choose, chase those clues. All right, now it's from the call with Dooley. I might be able to uh, use these to find them. Yeah, so what do I do then? What, all right. Let's cross-reference uh, what Dooley said with my map and see where, if we can locate them. Uh, this is all the info I have on the city. I just have to find some place that matches what I know about where Dooley was. We have three clues. If we cross-reference them with all of this, we should find them. Yeah, slow and steady should do it. We'll scratch off everything where he isn't and see what's left. Oh, that's Dr. Seuss. To find out where it is is to find out where it's not. Trout of this world. Bills, the switchboard... Laundromat, so this is the apartment. Don's Mansion, the Pier. Dave the Tentacle, that's a reference. Nuala, that's who we saw earlier. The Polytuplets is terrifying. Spider, Granny Gooly, the Lullaby Ladies. Belle, Lansick Lee. Some of these are different colors. We were talking to Dooley on a phone. I could hear somebody playing music in the background. Dooley is somewhere inland. All right, so let's stop here. Wait, what? These are the three clues. We just have to cross-reference them. Okay. We took each person in place and scratch off everyone and anywhere that isn't helpful. Wait, I'm not sure what's going on here. First of many badges that Bud will earn. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Obviously, a place that has access to a telephone, I could hear somebody playing music in the background and in inland. So, I mean, I understand the clues, but I don't understand like, what do, I don't understand any of this. I guess it's the laundromat then? My local laundromat and the bright side, something always goes wrong. I, that matches, I think we found him. He's outside this building. Okay, fantastic. He's been, he's been waiting outside for me to find him. Well, you found him now. Let's go get him back. To the roof. Uh, okay. This will do. We can perform the ritual here. Sure, why not? Hold on. Cuckoo, other pigeon noises. His name's Regis. Just need to mark some glyphs here. Light some candles and place down something of his. Draw this here. That goes there. Et voila. 
Pisces here. I have a lighter. Great. Get the bag here. That's everything. Now let's see. Now to see what happens. A wind's picking up. It's a lot of psychic energy, and I'm not even making that up this time. I think it's working. Why did he... He had, like, a, a, one of them hero landings. What's going on? Detective? It worked. Does anyone have something to eat? I'm starving. Uh, it definitely worked. What was it like? Nobody has ever spent that long over there before. It was fine. Hard to get around. Terrible public transport. Trains are always on time, so I kept missing them. I'm just glad to be home. Thanks, Detective. I knew you'd find a way. Yeah, thanks. Sorry it took so long. Detective, why are these kids all of a sudden here? Yeah. What's a prawn folder? Wow. Meanwhile, uh oh. I answered the call, and the case is closed. Okay. Solved. Got a few more to go. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.